Tonight we've got a hot item and it's the Canon PowerShot SX230HS. This is the jack of all trades for Canon's point and shoot lineup and it's festooned with some pretty significant upgrades from last year's SX210IS. We're going to talk about the primary differences, first starting with this camera's sensor. A 1 over 2.3 inch HS CMOS sensor, 12.1 megapixels. And when we compare that to last year's CCD, which was 14.1 megapixels, this camera is more adept at gathering light. This camera's image quality was a boost from last year's. Bright light, it's definitely noticeable. However, there is evidence of some entry-level imaging, like purple fringing and some vignetting in certain shots. Um, it's better than last year though, and bright light shooting was fantastic. Low light shooting exhibited a more refined, better managed noise situation. And you notice with the SX230HS that the max ISO is now 3200 and low light mode is capable of 6400. But one interesting thing about this camera is that anything past a one second shutter speed, the camera defaults to an ISO of 100. And we think that is to protect the integrity of the images to really reduce noise. That kind of threw a stick in the spokes for us when we were doing long exposure shooting though. But overall, still image quality was definitely a boost. Now let's talk about video. This camera also receives 1080p HD video and that's at 24 frames per second. We could also shoot in super slow-mo, which is 320 by 240 at 240 frames per second. And uh, there's also miniature effect to shoot in. Quality was very good. We're impressed with the 1080p. It matched the 720p on the SX210IS. Uh, however, we had a few gripes with video mode. We could have used some more advanced features like found on the Panasonic cameras. Also, we had trouble focusing with the uh, camera in video mode, especially in low light. So that's something to watch out for. Also, we think with this most excellent 14x optical zoom that a zoom mic would be pretty handy to have. Another thing about video mode is that low light sensitivity is nowhere near the sensitivity it is in still image mode, so lighting has to be fairly adequate um, despite our attempt to adjust the exposure. So those are just some caveats in video mode. Now another primary feature on the SX230HS is its GPS capability. The camera can now geotag pictures and video and it also can plot them on a map program included in the software that comes with this camera. A couple things to note about GPS indoors, it doesn't work. Also if you keep GPS logging on, it sucks the battery even when the camera's off and we found that out the hard way when we went to go test it one morning and the battery was completely kicked. A few architectural enhancements, you'll notice the 3 inch widescreen LCD has a 461,000 pixel display compared to last year's 230,000 dot display. And the difference was uncanny, especially when using the zoom focus feature. We could discern lines and edges very cleanly, so that's definitely an improvement. The SX230HS also brings the new toy camera and monochrome image effects to the table. Toy camera is a cool retro filter, but with monochrome, most of those settings could be tackled in the My Colors menu, so it wasn't really necessary. And here are a few last highlights. This camera is a speed racer when it comes to menu and navigation. We also get a touch panel and a control dial just like we had on the SX210IS. Also the SX230HS adds iFi support so you can wirelessly transfer your images and videos onto your computer. For the rest on the Canon PowerShot SX230HS, go to our full review. You'll find tons of image samples, video samples, breakdown of manual controls, design, more. But first we'll leave you with our InfoSync diagnosis. Is the Canon PowerShot SX230HS worth the five extra Hamiltons over the SX210IS? Well, if you have to have 1080p HD video, if GPS is very important to you, and you want to boost in low light sensitivity, then the PowerShot SX230IS is definitely worth it for you. We felt that the SX230 was still superior to the SX210, but we're still left wanting a larger imaging sensor inside and maybe open that aperture up to an f2.0. Also, give us some more video controls and maybe that zoom mic and we think this camera would be versatile as hell. Other than that, Canon has done a fantastic job with the SX230HS. It is a glimmering, decked out Mercedes-Benz within the parking lot 
of the point-and-shoot market. For InfoSync World, I'm Mike Perlman.